So whilst in Pakistan, I got an invite to something very special. The launch of Pakistan's first indigenous EV. I could barely believe it. But here I am. Yes, and I'm here with we are. Asif Malik, exactly. who is the ambassador for Dice. Exactly. And the Thank PR you. guy who knows basically all about the car. So please enlighten us. How has this happened? Okay, so let's start with the uh, this this idea, you know, how it started. So uh, way back, 15 years back, this, this organization DICE came into you know, existence and the people from Pakistan, the students from Pakistan, the, uh, the youngsters from Pakistan, those who went to America and other countries, they, they, they just decided to do something from Pakistan. So they, they made this DICE DICE, this, this non-profit organization, to support the students in Pakistan. Those opportunities which they were not able to get, right? So what happened next is in Pakistan, uh, they came there, I come here, and then he, they started this dice activity. They merged with Dow University, which is Oja Campus in Karachi. They started doing exhibitions, right? Uh, pulling out all the talent in Pakistan, asking them to come and, and bring their experiments, bring their projects. And when they were here, the, the, the projects were in front of them. They asked all the industrialists, the big companies in Pakistan, like Amrili Steels, like Gates Pharma, and all the other companies. They came together. They asked for it for the help. What they did is they first of all, if they were top three students, those 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 projects were the best. They gave them the money, the the financial support, and, and it, it didn't stop on that. They took the project. They uh, they did a lot of hospital projects, a lot of other projects that I would like to mention, you know, regarding the blind people, regarding the oxygen cylinders and everything that have been very successful in the past. So they put their money, they put their amount on that, and in future what happened is after a few years it, it came into existence in the commercial market. The hospitals are using it, right? So, it, it, so, just, it, so just to recap, this is basically a student thing that they do. Yes. And it then goes to another body that then look at them, choose the best ones, and yes. then make them a reality. Reality, and then make it commercial, right? So now let's talk about this idea. This 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 came into uh, you know uh, what, what you can call it. The brain idea was like eight and nine years before that. Let's create a car for Pakistan. But which car? How it's gonna work? Uh, do we need any conventional car? We need engines or anything? But if, what what we decided is that it should be an EV car because the future is EV, right? There's, the, the petrol is very costly in Pakistan. I don't know about UK, but everywhere, yeah, everywhere, everywhere. Okay, it's everywhere. everywhere. So in Pakistan, what happened is that uh, we decided to go on with this. There are a lot of engineers from China. There are a lot of engineers, all Pakistanis, actually, all Pakistan. There's no one other than Pakistani. There are uh, like you are from UK, like you are supporting here. So all the Pakistanis, they came together, they put up their amount, they, they spend money you know, uh, from their pocket to just make this a reality. And this is the car over here, which is the reality, Alhamdulillah, and today we are showcasing it, the, the first prototype. So, designed here, developed here. Developed here. What about the components? Surely you don't have the components here to make yes. an EV. Yes. Now this is the prototype. This is this is not a commercial vehicle, right? We we cannot put it in the market. Uh, what we have done is we have uh, designed all the uh, components in the in the design. Uh, there are a few components which are missing yet because we don't have the capacity to do, you know to to uh, make them in Pakistan yet. But once the car will be in commercial aspect in the market, we'll be adding those features as well. For that, of course, we need a lot of amount. We'll be putting on uh, inshallah a lot of amount and and, and we'll be. Uh, gathering a lot of investors in Pakistan, those will be coming forward and we have those on list inshallah. Yeah, now uh, the main question would be how much this car is gonna cost, right? It would indeed, so, I was gonna ask you, but you've got, you've got Yeah, that. yeah, so of course, the, the, uh, the cost that you know uh, that you need to uh, cater is definitely gonna hit the pockets of the Pakistani people like other cars, but this is definitely cost uh, a little less, right? Plus, what's, what's the best thing is that this company is going to stay in Pakistan. They're not going to leave. They're not going to ask for price hike. Uh, whatever is going to happen in, in, you know, in Pakistan in the industry, that would be according to the, the situation, the financial yeah, situation. Pakistan's first indigenous electric vehicle. Now this car is being designed, developed and engineered here. The design itself is coming from the National College of Arts in Lahore and the engineering is being done by basically Pakistanis who are working in the car industry or associated industries overseas. They've contributed a lot towards this car. 
the design, the idea, the concept of the car came out of a sort of a competition where younger people are encouraged to introduce their ideas and those ideas are then taken up by investors, the winning ideas, and then turned into reality, which is what has happened here. Now this thing basically to me looks a lot like a Hyundai E. It's a similar sort of size. The car is developed here. I believe it's a steel body, but it does have a modular platform. And the idea of the modular platform, as with most EVs, is the idea that this is the beginning, but the same modular platform could be used for a saloon version and later on an SUV version. What I mean by later on, well, this is just still in phase one of development. This is the grand unveiling. It's been given a name, Jazeri Nur E, Nur E. That's what they're calling it. And the idea is that in the future, there may well be a saloon version, uh, SUV version, as I've said, the rollout, they're looking at 2025. There's still a lot of development, testing, and uh, work to be done on the car, a lot of engineering. And of course, they're gonna put it through a lot of testing miles, particularly in these harsh conditions. It is full EV. It's about 35 kilowatt uh, hour battery, 108 brake horsepower, zero to 62 miles per hour, about 14 seconds. Not the quickest thing, but you know, it's all about the range and what is the range going to be well they're claiming 210 kilometers i'll put in the miles uh, on the screen as well the conversion 210 kilometers per battery charge so you can plug in at home next morning it should be good to go you should be good for maybe three four days with that and that they say is with the ac on which is quite remarkable and this car they have they claim that the accident uh, safety is on par with rivals internationally. A lot of work has been done both digitally and in reality. They're claiming it should be a pretty good spec when it comes out. Um, a lot of the standards to which most international products are adhere to are being complied to with this car. Why? Because they are looking at a future where they'll be exporting these cars. This car that we're looking at right now, if I'm honest with you, is a little bit rough but this is a prototype. So the idea is to present the, the image, the style, what the car is gonna look like, the dimensions, to give people an idea of it. But if you look at this car, you can very clearly see the front of it is very much like a Honda E. The overall shape, I would say, is like that. It has a hatchback shape. Um, the door handles are typical. The black wheels on this car seem to be inset a little bit. They're a little bit small. The shop lines are, let's be honest, all over the place. But again, like I said, this is a prototype. You can see that in the door shut lines, in the central one, and in along the bottom and along the side as well. But again, this is a still a work in progress. Um, some incredible people involved, a lot of talent, a lot of technology and engineering, and of course, still a long way to go. But the fact is that on the 75th Independence Day of Pakistan, they have done the extraordinary. They have said, we are gonna create our own car, build it here, design it here, engineer here, initially 60-40 local content, moving up to 80-20. And of course, the imported content is actually more to do with the battery packs, which of course are being made elsewhere and the raw materials that you need for that. But ultimately, they're looking at getting the raw materials in from China and doing the work here. All the engine management system and everything like that has been designed here, has been programmed here, and is being worked on here. So it is, in that sense, a remarkable achievement. And of course, once they've done it once, it then sets a precedent and suddenly an industry can evolve and develop out of that. And that's hopefully what we will see with this car. So stay tuned. I'm going to keep in touch with this, find out what's going on, and I'll keep bringing you news on it. It's very exciting. Let's see where this goes. A big shout out and thanks to Jay Williams over at Air Technic who are top tier sponsors of Brown Car Guy. Check them out at Air Technic Co UK for exhausts, brakes, suspension and body kits. Plus our other major sponsor, Nayajan Solutions. Much appreciation also to tier 4 sponsors, Muhammad Ali Humaid, Tom Conway Gordon and Reza Adil. And of course all these other guys who supporting on Patreon. Brown Car Guy is eternally grateful. Hey, think about joining them over at Patreon.com Brown Car Guy. If you can't, don't worry. Just make sure you're subscribing to the YouTube channel and website. Plus follow on social media by searching for Brown Car Guy. <laughs>